Okay, so I noticed in uh, my last video clip that uh, there was a little bit of clipping and just wasn't quite right, the, the noise, uh, the gates and everything. So I went back into OBS and I've, I've tried to massage it a bit and I think I've found the right balance now. Did some test recordings, sounding pretty good. So um, if, you, if you don't know what I'm talking about uh, with these, with these uh, graphics here on the right hand side, uh, just go to, go to the video, I'll leave that up, a uh, link up in the uh, right hand corner there so you can uh, familiarize yourself with what I'm actually doing here. So this is an OBS software and um, I'm just playing around with the settings to get the, the most uh, natural sound and also closely as close as I can get to the ESM7B. So, if we look at the filters here, and uh, in the in the previous video, you'll know how to get to the filters. So I've got no, uh, noise suppression on uh, better quality. So you can you've got the uh, uh, low CPU usage, low quality. That doesn't sound very good at all. <laughs> so I've got RN noise, good quality, more CPU use. I've uh, reduced the gain because I was getting a bit of clipping. It was was at 6dB. I've got it down to three now. That seems to be a good balance. You can see the audio level on the uh, audio mixer there. And um, now turn your volume down because what I'm going to do now is do a maximum test. I'm going to talk as loud as I can into the mic and very close and you'll see that it doesn't go past uh, about minus 5 dBU. So here we go. Test in 3, 2, 1. Okay, testing very loud now, very loud sound, very loud. Okay, so you can see there um, it, doesn't, it doesn't clip. Like I tested it out, it doesn't clip, so that's that's looking good. Uh, compressor settings, I got the ratio at three to one, threshold minus twenty dB. Got the attack and release very very short time. Uh, output gain of three decibels there, and that, that seems to work quite well. On the Marvel GEQ, and you can see there the uh, uh, interface there. Um, now this, I, I'm trying to find. I want to find a better a better uh, uh, plug-in equalizer here because I can't quite get the get the exact frequencies that uh, Julian Krauss was using. You can see his equalization settings there. He's got it set as uh, I'll just move this over here actually it's better. Uh, he's got it set at 100, 100 hertz uh, plus 2 dB gain uh, 1.5 Q. So basically the the smaller the Q number the wider the band. So if you think of a, a bell curve and, and the uh, smaller the Q number, the more the bell curves spread. So those five Q numbers are very small, very small band. So basically, uh, you just divide, you divide, say the top one there, 10.5 kilohertz. You divide 10.5 divided by five, so it's around two, two kilohertz uh, spread. All right. So I've tried to get it as close as possible. Uh, so I've got plus two at a hundred, and I've, I've Put a little bit of gain on either side. I think it's 126. 126 hertz is the one to go, and then the, the other side's 90, uh, 79.6 and 200. So I've, it's hard to get. It's hard to get the 100 hertz, but that's that's look, looking not too bad. And then on the other bands, we've got uh, minus three decibels at uh, 2.4 kilohertz. So I've just I've just done the uh, five five kilohertz there and I've just gone minus three on there. Uh, I've gone minus five on the 7.96. Uh, it should be 6.4, not 7.96. So it's not going to sound exact. And uh, now I've pushed it up. Yeah, you've got uh, minus four at 10.5 kilohertz. But hopefully it sounds pretty good. What I'll do now is I'll turn, turn everything off so you can hear the difference. Turn, turn the noise suppression and then the gain, compressor. And the Marvel GQ, so you can hear the difference there. I haven't got my monitors on because there's latency in OBS, so you, you'll never, it will just drive you nuts. You get like this sort of echo sound, and it's like, it's like somebody saying, uh, you know, uh, you know, when people repeat things <laughs> and it just drives you nuts, that's exactly what monitoring in OBS is like. So there's no point doing it because uh, monitoring from my uh, solo is just going to give me. Uh, the the uh, signal from the mic is as soon as it goes through the OBS and it's, get, it's getting uh, processed with the filters. I'm not gonna not gonna hear anything, so that's why I'm not using the monitor. So I'll put everything back on. First, the noise suppression, so you can hear the difference there. Add three dB of gain, 
at, at the compressor and then the uh, Marvel GQ on now and that's to try and uh, imitate the uh, SM7B. So there we go guys, uh, hope you enjoyed that one, that's uh, as close as I'm going to get with this equaliser. Um, if you've got a better plug-in equaliser that, that fits in better with uh, Julian Krauss's uh, uh, frequencies there, because I'm, I'm trying to get, get it spot on, but um, I'm finding the um, Vuxengo Marvel GQ, it's not bad, it's not bad, but it could be better, so uh, if you've got a better equaliser, a plug-in, a VST plug-in that I can use in OBS, uh, comment below and we'll, we'll start using that and I'll do another video and see how it sounds. Okay guys, you know the drill, don't forget to like, subscribe, subscribe and share. Okay, see you next time, bye.